The prophet Ezekiel is sitting with God's people when their beloved Jerusalem is destroyed. What? The city they'd built for God to dwell in, from where his blessing would reach to the ends of the earth? How could that be? The one thing they thought secure, eternally secure, was gone. When Ezekiel described the glory of God departing from the temple, feel the axis of their world keel over, Hopes lie in dust and ashes, and in that rubble, the symbolism is clear. God is on the move for the sake of my holy name. That's the constant refrain in the book of Ezekiel. And the prophet doesn't pull his punches. Exile is a sign of God's judgment because the people have abandoned God's holiness, that utterly unique aspect of God's character that combines transcendence and beauty and splendor rolled into one. It can't be contained in a building, silly. Of course God's power and perfection is on the move with magnetic irresistibility. It's drawing us close with total acceptance. It's releasing us from failure and sin. Ultimately, God's holiness is the one place we are held secure. I don't know the rubble of your life, or what security may be crumbling, but will you allow God's holiness to draw you close, to release you from the sin that clings, to hide you under God's wings? For the Old Testament people of God, it took exile, total disruption with every prop gone and no choice but to fall to their knees. But among the lessons and surprises was the joy of discovering God's holiness brings hope. In the end, only God's holiness brings hope.